Hello friends, followers and channel members and welcome to a very quick video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and I'm going to look today at a little setting that I've changed within my Windows and graphics settings which has somehow created really really nice really sharp images much better textures and no loss of uh, frame rates now it's not something that I'd ever done before and it wasn't really something I was seeking out to do I was just tinkering around with the settings at some point and suddenly uh, after a re on a recent stream that we uh, that we did we all commented and said actually don't know what I've done but these textures are looking really really nice particularly in the Airbus A320 Neo NX from Fly-by-Wire so at the moment we're in a uh, rather dull weathered looking uh, Nice at the moment as uh, as you can see and we're going to just come down here and have a look at these textures that we've now got. Not only on the outside, as you can see, everything is uh, looking really rather nice, but the textures inside the flight deck as well are particularly looking good. So let's just have a quick look inside. So if we come down to the center console and we can just see everything is looking really, really nice, neat and, uh, and sharp. And again, it's a minor setting that I'm going to talk you through. Very, very easy to do. It'll take you 10 seconds to do and then you'll have to restart your PC. So the first thing I did was I brought up the NVIDIA control panel for those of you using uh, GeForce cards and on the program settings make sure you've obviously got Microsoft Flight Simulator loaded just there and then OpenGL rendering we set to NVIDIA GeForce which was my graphics card that should be set by default anyway but even so uh, power management mode prefer maximum power over uh, anything else so make sure that's set and vertical sync make sure that is turned on here turned on in the video control panel turned off in Microsoft Flight Simulator settings so we can have vSync turned on there the next thing I did then and I'd not really discovered this before I'm not that techni technically minded but I was tinkering around as I say on Windows and I went and searched for the graphics settings here in uh, Windows 10 and the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling was turned off so I've turned that on and then uh, restarted the PC just as uh, it tells you to do and that is all I did in order to get these really nice crisp looking images now we're at Nice Airport which has recently just seen a world update in the world update uh, number four for France and Benelux and we know that frame rates have taken a, a bit of a hit all around the globe since uh, since that but this is actually running really rather nicely I've even got live traffic turned on at the uh, at the moment so uh, I think there's an aircraft to the left of me no idea who that is departing there wave him goodbye it's also just starting to rain so we're now getting uh, rain effects on the uh, on the windshield as well so that's it that tiny little thing with the hardware acceleration that's turned on that's really improved the visuals and of course those couple of things on the uh, Nvidia control panel so have a go let me know what you think leave comments down below I'd love to know if that's uh, helped you at all if you noticed any differences to your uh, flight sim visuals I have certainly noticed them in uh, in the flight deck and if we just uh, quickly have a, uh, a look around you can see everything looking really nice smooth moving between the different uh, views points as uh, as well and yeah everything is nice clean crisp and I haven't touched any settings in Microsoft Flight Simulator just in Windows hope that's been useful guys I look forward to seeing you in the next button if that has been of use to you please hit that subscribe button turn on the notifications bell for notifications of more videos and live streams and I look forward to seeing you in the next video bye bye for now